In our last lesson, we talked on how to query Realm database and how to add filters to get the results you wanted from the database. In this lesson, we're going to continue building our application we created in lesson 1, our to-do list application which allows you add tasks and delete by swiping. In this tutorial specifically, we're going to talk on how to build our model which is going to be our Realm database for that application. So we are back where we left off in lesson 1 where we had our application, main, my application class and main activity. So now what we need to do is add our dependency for recycler view. Since we are going to be using our recycler view, so you paste it then you sync your project. So once we are synced, our gradually synced, we can go on to create our model for our application. Our model is going to have two variables, that is ID and task. The ID is the ID of the task and the task is a string which holds what the task is about. Let's say you want to wake up and wash your clothes. So the task is washing clothes and the ID is what we use to represent or identify that particular task. I guess you guys are conversant with this. So now that we are done creating our basic Java class, we make it into a Realm database by extending Realm objects. It's that simple. But now we need a primary key, and I guess your guess is as good as mine. Our ID is going to be our primary key. To make it our primary key, we put on it a Java annotation primary key. This comes from Realm. So now Realm sees this as our primary key, ID. We would need this to perform specific operations and identify specific tasks, like where we want to delete it. So after this, we are going to create a class called Realm Data Helper, or just in other words, Data Helper. This is going to help us interact with Realm to create and delete tasks instead of us calling task DB directly. So we create our Data Helper class and we'll go on to create two methods to create and delete our task. So in our Data Helper class, we're going to have two methods new task and delete task. Our new task is going to be used to add a new object to Realm database. Now this new task is going to have three arguments, Realm, task ID, and task. The Realm is of type Realm, task ID of type int, and task of type string. The Realm is going to be from our activity, the get the fourth instance variable. And then the task ID is the unique ID of this task. Then the task, the string, is the text, such as go to the grocery store or wake up and wash your clothes. Just the text of that task. Now we're going to create a new object in this database. I have already taught you how to do this, but you see a little variation here. Now, like every other example we did before, this is how to create a realm object. But we're going to put a second argument in the create object method. The second argument is going to be task ID. We're doing this because our task DB database has a primary key. When you have a primary key, you add the primary key when you're creating the object. Then you can go on to set the values of the other variables. Now we're going to go on to set the value of the task. So we're going to use taskdb.setTask and pass in task as the argument into that method. After doing that, that is all for creating a new task. We can then go on to create our method that deletes the task. So now we are going to 
create our static method to delete a realm entry for us. So this is going to be used when we swipe on our recycler view. When we swipe a particular entry, a task in our recycler view, it is meant to use this method to delete that particular task using the task ID. So in the argument we have realm, the same as the realm we have above, gotten from the get default instance. While the second argument ID is actually the task ID. You can always rename it to task ID. But right now it doesn't affect the operation of the code. So we create a new realm transaction inside an execute transaction async. Async means it's going to do this in a background thread. So what we do first is to query the database using the ID to find if there's any entry with the ID passed in. Like all the queries we have taught before, this is similar, if not the same, of what I've taught you before. So you should be conversant with this. We'll make this a final variable to remove that error. Next, we check if this query is null. If it is not null, then we execute and delete the entry. Let's arrange this a little bit. So what we check is if tax DB is not null. If it isn't null, that means there is an item with an ID equal to the ID passed. So once it is not null, we cannot delete it. Take note, I changed this tax DB, the tax DB item, just for a better naming style, I thought. So tax db dot delete from realm, and that is what we use to delete the value from realm. As a quick recap, so we have our delete and new task. In our new task, we have our execution of creating a new realm object between transactions. In our create object, we pass in task id because we have a primary key in our database. And also in our delete task, we executed it between transactions. We can see more of this in the Realm documentation. They have a really good documentation. In our coming video, we are going to go on to create the UI for our recycler view and also a dialog which is going to create a new task. So I hope you really enjoyed this and I hope you understood what you saw. Thank you.